Hey legends, welcome along to the Here's Rodders Reviews. Now I've got a tasty little movie for you to check out. And this one is from Northern Ireland. And I enjoyed this one so much. My brother turned me on to this one. It's called Ups and Downs. And it's from 2017. And basically, the what it says here on the BBC iPlayer is a young man with Down syndrome tricks his sister into a road trip pursued by their mum. So it's a... Very easy tagline for it. Um, great, great little comedy movie. Uh, fantastic. You have uh, James Martin playing Connell in it. He's the the guy with Down syndrome. His sister's played by Rosie Barry. The mother's played by Susan Lynch and her friend Keith McArlean in the movie. Uh, I have to go and search these two. So pretty much the concept of it is Connell is obsessed with becoming a rock star someday and his mother, um, Susan Lynch, is super protective of both him and her daughter and her daughter is just on the verge of heading off to university so there's a big upheaval in the house more or less in the movie and uh, she's trying to get Connell to go for a job interview, get a little job for himself to be more independent and whatnot, but he's still kind of obsessed with becoming a rock star. He's like, I want to be a rock star, I don't want to work in a shop, all that sort of stuff. So she eventually manages to get him to go to the job interview, but as soon as he walks through the door, he's just like, you know, screw this. There's an Ash concert in Belfast, and I'm going to go to it. So, uh, he sneaks out of the job interview, his mother's in the car outside, waiting for him, and he disappears back home, gets changed into his rock and roll outfit, and off he goes and grabs hold of his sister at school, and uh, talks her and actually going with him to Belfast to check out this Ash concert. Um, it's a promise that his father had made to him, that whenever he grew up a little bit, his father would take him to see a concert in Belfast and unfortunately the father passes away never gets to follow that so Connell is determined to get to Belfast to check out a concert um, they get off to a fairly good start when they get on the Braider way the, well, the Scalmer way on the tour bus heading for Belfast but they fall in with two buskers two like rock chick sort of characters and Connell grabs hold of their guitar and he's jumping up and down in the back seat playing the guitar and screaming and shouting so they get kicked off the bus and then the real fun starts whenever they're trapped somewhere between I want to say Ballymena and Belfast yeah Ballymena and Belfast this little journey which isn't a huge amount of distance to cover but uh, they're trapped in the middle of nowhere and uh, they come across this sort of crazy guy and a tractor that's just out to, to kind of help them. But uh, Connell's sister, Gemma, uh, is freaked out, thinking that he's one of these uh, scary boys, let's just say. And they wind up stealing this tractor at one point and <laughs> trying to have a fast and furious escape. Uh, the tractor is going not much more than walking pace so there's good bits of comedy especially whenever that wee farmer comes in there uh, absolutely fantastic little movie it's a real kind of coming of age story for both Connell and Gemma by the end of the movie uh, she has her own stuff to deal with in this but by the time we get to the end and, um, you know it's not just a coming of age movie for the two kids, but in a way for their mother as well. Um, as I say, Connell has Downs, so she is super protective of him and not willing to really give him much freedom. But by the end of the movie, you know, he proves himself to be more capable than people give him credit for. So that's a fantastic little film. And definitely one that I would highly recommend you checking out. Now at this point I was just looking it up on, it's on BBC iPlayer right now, ups and downs. Um, it says here, 
uh, a, the recording of this episode. It's only available for five months on the the BBC player, so if you're interested at all, check it out as soon as you can. But uh, I loved it. It's not a huge movie. It's only 59 minutes long, but well worth taking that hour to check it out. So much better than I was expecting it to be. Just a good time from beginning to end. 